gonna share this with you right now. Strawberry baking protein pancakes and game changer cookies and cream cookie spread on top of it. All right, people, it's 1 a.m. in the morning. I just got off work about an hour ago and as you guys know that Las Vegas heat is no joke so I did not prepare my food today on the grill with the intention of coming back later on tonight or now this morning to do this so I'm going to take these out to the grill nobody's out there it's pretty perfect I don't have to fight with anybody on grill space so makes it a little bit easier so even though i needed to wait until later on tonight kind of worked out in my favor make sure i have everything i got my chicken I've got asparagus i probably need to take virgin olive oil and salt and pepper garlic powder and onion powder too just to season the asparagus because i did not marinate those unfortunately oh and i already started the grill just so first of all i wanted to make sure i knew what i was doing because i've never actually grilled before by myself and i was able to i was able to light the burners so proud of myself <laughs> i don't even know if i need all this stuff but i'm taking it in case I'm starving so i can't wait to come back and eat We got the grill going at one o'clock in the morning. So all heated up. I got all of my chicken ready to go. It's been marinating for about eight hours. We're gonna throw these on and then get that asparagus sitting on the very top too. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Just doing what I can. <laughs> Alright everybody, so the asparagus is still cooking in the grill right behind me. And I actually just finished the chicken, so I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder on it. And then 
while it was on the grill, threw on some blackened seasoning. Yeah, blackened seasoning because that's one of the things that I picked up from the grocery store maybe 10 minutes before I got back home. And I was like, let me see what this tastes like. So I threw it on here. It smells amazing. I've only had two meals today, so I'm getting in this. I was going to say tonight, but it's basically this morning. It's my night. Everybody else is morning <laughs> getting into this in 20 minutes. <laughs> I actually love, love, love my asparagus, especially asparagus, like burnt to a crisp. Yes, exactly how I like it. That's exactly how I like my asparagus. Maybe not like charcoal black, but I love it when they're like crispy not so like hard to chew on. Oh, I'm obsessed. I still have quite a bit of protein and carbohydrates left so carbs means I can have a lot of vegetables which I'm super stoked about so I can probably have quite a bit of this asparagus which just seems amazing. I love it when my asparagus is just like burnt. Burnt burnt burnt. So how many other people like that? If you like your asparagus to where it's like charred burnt leave a comment below if you don't like it definitely leave a comment below but i think that's the only way to eat it let's measure out some chicken breast which once again was marinated with a little bit of virgin olive oil and i put salt pepper onion powder and then also some garlic powder let's just go ahead and go to five ounces you gotta eat this and just take some of this Okay, now let's do change the unit. Let's do about, you know, I'm just gonna give myself enough to where I'm happy and then I'll plug that number in. Let's go to 80. Oh, 80, perfect. All right. And then of course, I have plenty of other macros that I can kind of throw in there, but I'm gonna start with this because I'm hungry. It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning and the last time I ate was at 7.30, so. In this, get in it. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, August 16th. <laughs> I have to look and make sure that's right. <laughs> I always get it wrong. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, August 16th, and I am waking up literally just um, from I don't remember anything past getting back to my apartment and putting my chicken and asparagus back into my refrigerator. I was that tired. So I ate and then I probably fell asleep with food still in my mouth. Does that ever happen to you guys? Cause you're so tired and you just kind of fall asleep that way. But that's what I think happened. So <laughs> with that being said, I missed a lot of my macros last night. I was short by 40 grams of protein short by 53 grams of carbohydrates, which uh, pff, carbs, I don't miss carbs, I don't miss carbs. And um, I was good on that. So I'm making up for the carbohydrates and protein today. Um, when you do end up missing your macros like that, just think about it as how like people do carb cycling. Um, that definitely wasn't my intent, but for the most part, when you are carb, carb cycling, you'll usually overshoot one day and then you're undershooting on another day and it all ends up equaling out anyway. It's just giving your body that shock that it needs in order to start responding a little bit better. So I'm not considering this a, a carb cycling day, but it's pretty much the same thing. I'm basically making up for the macros that I missed yesterday. So we're gonna start with something pretty amazing. I haven't been able to have this much strawberry meal replacement in my egg whites or in my basically pancakes that I'm about to make. I haven't been able to put that much in it, in it because it's higher in carbohydrates, but I missed all my carbohydrates yesterday. So I'm gonna have all of the full serving with a whole cup of eggs, which is another 30 grams of protein. So I'm gonna be able to hit 54 grams of protein in this, which is over what I needed. So I can just start adding that towards this day. And then also I'll be that's 24, I'll still be short on carbohydrates, so 
Halo tie up, you're calling my name. <laughs> Halo tie up might be coming tonight. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna show you how I make my pancakes. All right, YouTubers. So basically I have everything set out here that I'll need for my protein pancakes that I'll be making today. So I haven't, like I said before, I haven't had the opportunity of being able to have a full serving of my meal replacement shakes lately because the carbohydrates are on the higher end. It's 24 grams of protein and 24 grams of carbohydrates. So I would gladly take the protein, but the carbohydrates I'd rather use for something else. So since I was so behind on carbohydrates yesterday, I can actually have a full serving of this. I'm gonna do my usual one cup of egg whites, which ends up being 30 grams of protein, zero fat, zero carbohydrates. I like putting a little bit of salt in there, and then I also like adding some stevia because I like my pancakes on the sweeter side. I'm not actually using agave or syrup. I'm just gonna eat it um, plain just because that just adds another amount of carbohydrates, which I'm able to have today, but I actually don't keep it in the house because I will abuse it. I know my limits, I stay in my lane. Starting with one cup of egg whites. Once again, that's 30 grams of protein, zero fat, zero carbohydrates, and this was perfect. I don't think I could have gotten any better on that serving size. I'm literally up to the top. All right, all that goes in there. And instead of one scoop like I normally do for my protein pancakes, which it just yields 12 grams of protein, 12 grams of carbohydrates, and two and a half grams of fat, I'm actually doing the full amount, 24 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, and five grams of fat. And this is strawberry flavor. Strawberry with my egg whites and um, made into a pancake. I absolutely love it that way. Mix this up. So it should start to come out like a consistency, just like pancakes normally would. So it's starting to stir up. I can tell that the pan is starting to get warm enough for me to put some nonstick spray in there. So that's what we're gonna do. I use coconut oil spray. I don't think it really matters whether you're using canola, coconut oil, vegetable oil, as long as you just like the actual spray that you're using, it's a personal preference. And of course, I got a snap. We're making strawberry protein pancakes right about now. And you guys are on the next vlog. Yep, that's how I rig my camera. I don't know one person that doesn't like their pancakes, whether it's protein pancakes or just regular pancakes. I don't know one person that doesn't like them on the sweet side. So I'm going to add, serving size for this is one teaspoon. Carbohydrates are less than 0.5 grams. All right, we've got three teaspoons in here. So throw te three two teaspoons of stevia. And I personally like to add a little bit of salt to my pancakes. There we go. Keep mixing this around. The last thing that we're gonna add is, of course, bacon. Because it's my favorite. It'd be a sin if I didn't add it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Awesome. Just what I was going for. So good. I kind of wish I had some kind of agave or syrup or something, but I'm gonna share this with you right now. Strawberry baking protein pancakes and game changer cookies and cream cookie spread on top of it. <laughs> Holy cow. I basically, one serving of this is two tablespoons. I probably didn't even use one tablespoon. I just estimated that this was, I was using about a fourth of a tablespoon. Seriously, that's, that's a game changer. Like, who doesn't like strawberries on their pancakes? Who doesn't like chocolate on their pancakes? And who doesn't like bacon on the side? Have it or one. Holy cow. Amazing. I'll put the macros below so you guys know exactly what it is.
start everyone so we are actually going to close out this vlog today by just kind of it's weird but I don't think I've really necessarily explained what ignoring limited beliefs actually means to me so basically I chose that to be the title of this upcoming series of vlogs because all of the competitions that I've ever done I basically allowed certain things to take over my mental capacity or my physical ability and I think that a lot of times and I'll be the first one to, to admit it I think a lot of times I have mistaken my limited abilities with things that I could actually make happen but I was choosing not to make them happen because of either I was scared of failure or I was afraid of change and so with that being said my eating issues and like eating when I'm emotional or tired or happy whatever that may be whatever I was using food for I was always I don't want to say what it was an excuse because a lot of times I really do feel like my body is calling for food but my food choices were what was getting me into trouble basically trouble I use that word loosely but I basically mean like trouble as in like not ready for stage when I could have been or should have been and so this time around I'm basically 12 weeks out from Fitness America where I will be doing figure I'm still not sure about fitness I'm debating on that but I will be competing in figure and I don't want to make those same mistakes I might be hungry but that's what happens when your body's in deficit from nutrition so I might be tired but that's what happens when you're training four days a week doing three days of cardio and your body's still in a nutritional deficit so all of those things that I was saying to myself, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm this and that and whatever. That's exactly what I should have been feeling like, but I chose to get out of that feeling by satisfying myself temporarily with food or by not going to work out and not training and not completing all of my days for training. So this series of vlogs are titled Ignoring Limited Beliefs because the limited beliefs kept me from being great and kept me from achieving the goal that I said that I wanted to achieve but I was too afraid to achieve. I was too afraid to say you know what I don't need that halo tuck right now or you know what I had halo tuck five times this week. The sixth one you can skip that one. You know like just little things like that and, and I think a lot of us have a hard time debating on whether it's a necessity or if it's really your body calling for something because you're lacking in it um, to a degree where you you need to have it the same way that say like somebody who has uh sh they're when they're low on sugar they need to have sugar um but mine's not a medical issue it's it's in my head it's in my head and i need to get out of my head and i need to start ignoring those limited beliefs so that's what I'm going to do for the next 12 weeks while I get ready for this show. And I haven't really explained that to you guys yet, so I wanted to be able to explain it to you now. And I, I even had that moment tonight. I got off work at midnight. I drove home, went, well, first I went to the grocery store and grabbed a couple of items, came home. It's past one o'clock now. And I told myself that I was gonna go to the gym and train. And I literally said to myself, a couple of times you know what just wake up and do it in the morning but that's what I did for the past eight years that I've been competing that's what I've done oh just wake up and do it in the morning guess what the morning comes and I don't do it I just go oh well, we'll just skip that day no more of that no more of that limited belief in myself that is keeping me from being greater than what I already am I'm going to ignore those moments and Actually, I'm not going to ignore them. I'm going to take them in. I'm going to own them. And then I'm going to say, I'm not going to let you 
determine my future and my fate. So all of those limited beliefs are no longer something that's going to control my movement and my steps for moving forward and what I decide to do from here on out. I'm going to take it. I'm going to receive it. I'm going to accept the fact that that's what I'm thinking and I'm going to throw it out the window. This series is called Ignoring Limited Beliefs for that reason. And with that being said, I'm going to put these groceries away and I'm getting into the gym. So we're going to close it out here, get a little bit of upper body workout done and come home, go to sleep and wake up for another amazing day. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any comments that you would like to throw my way, definitely. That's what the comment section is for. Okay, leave your comments below underneath the description and definitely give it a thumbs up if this is something that definitely helped you guys. If it gave you any type of inspiration, motivation, or just made you think twice about maybe the path that you're taking as well, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. That's all I'm asking you. And lastly, subscribe. If you think that this is content that's going to be able to help you or is helping you now, subscribe so that I can keep pushing this out to you. So that you, every single time that you get a notification that I put up a new video or that I commented underneath a comment that you left me, I want to be able to give you that extra, that extra something that you needed to make your day that much more amazing. So definitely like, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and also subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you. And I'm about to go pump. One o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Baby, you should take it slow